Now that we have built the high poly version, we can take the resulting mesh and decimate it to have uh, a proper low poly to bake it on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the mesh smooth modifier from all the objects. Uh, this is still going to be the high poly. What I'm going to do is just basically attach uh, all the parts together so that it's all one object. Now I can put the mesh smooth modifier on this one object by itself. Rename it to HP for high poly. Save. And go to Tools and Snapshot to make an exact copy of this object in the exact same position. Now you can see it's signified as HP001. I'm just going to rename it to LP and remove the Mesh Smooth modifier. And basically going to start removing. Take the high poly one and hide it so that it doesn't get in the way and start working on the low poly. It's important that they're on top of each other so first thing first delete the floating geometry I'm not going to need it anymore. And second of all I'm just going to start removing all the support edges that I created. This will significantly cut down the polygon uh, count and as you can see what I'm doing basically is selecting one edge of the whole loop because what you can then do is loop it by pressing that button and and this is important you once you've selected the whole loop press control backspace that will delete those edges and the vertices that are connected to them don't just backspace the edges so remember control backspace Okay, and that takes care of the first object. Further on the other ones. So it's, it's not a big deal if you uh, don't get them all. Uh, it's a fairly simple object, so the poly count is already not not very large to begin with <coughs> notice that the big ridge was removed because that's also going to be part of just the normal map I don't need it as a geometry uh, I'm going to hide the top object to be able to get to these edge loops this stuff just collapse it okay that's clean and hide all again to be honest this whole this whole hole could be deleted as well as we don't really see it in the final mesh but uh, I decided to leave it there alright so we unhide every all the geometry uh, select everything and do an auto smooth to get the smoothing that I want uh, sometimes auto smooth will not work so you have to come in and manually uh, decide on your smoothing groups but this case it was fine 